Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Robert Stewart was a talented furniture maker in mid-19th century Natchez. His ware room was located at the corner of Pearl and Franklin Streets, where he displayed items made in his shop, as well as those pieces he imported for retail. Like a number of cabinet makers at that time, Stewart was also a mortician, advertising coffins on hand or made to order. These two wardrobes today in the collection of the Natchez National Historical Park are believed to be his work, as is the invalid chair, which is in a private collection. The magnificent bookcases in the library of Melrose were also manufactured in Stewart's shop, but we know that in this case, Stewart employed a journeyman named Harper Hammerton to build them. Stewart paid Hammerton $109.03 for two months' work. In 1851, Stewart is found uncrating this set of Gothic Revival chairs for John McMurrin of Melrose. Probably made in Philadelphia, this set is identical to one at nearby Auburn. Stewart retailed a great deal of furniture from northern makers, particularly from the factory of Charles Lee of Manchester, Massachusetts. Andrew Wilson of Rosalie was also one of Stewart's best customers and bought a number of Charles Lee's teaster beds. Stewart also assisted in furnishing Stanton Hall. According to this receipt from January through June of 1858, Stewart charged Frederick Stanton $6,080 for the use of his furniture car, varnishing beds, hanging curtains, and covering three bed cornices in turkey red fabric. Stewart died in 1866, but his account books and ledgers are found in the special collections of Louisiana State University and provide an interesting glimpse into the craft of furniture making and the retail trade in 19th century Natchez. My name is Adam Gwynn. I am a 21st century cabinet maker in Natchez, Mississippi, and we're recording this from the Connemara of Ireland.